Hey guys, how are you all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. Today, as promised, I will be reviewing Back to the Future Part 2. I saw it this morning, and I have to say, it was very, very amazing. Um, I've heard a few people saying that the sequel isn't as good as the first one, which is sometimes the case for, you know, most films. Um, however, I never really found that to be the case. Empire Strikes Back was great, uh, Chamber of Secrets, Two Towers, and Part 2 of Back to the Future is also really good. Um, I don't know, I, I feel like people are saying it's not as good as the first one because it's not the first one, right? I mean, the first one is so quotable and so iconic in so many different ways, and then you think the second one, no one really... I mean, people like it, people saw it, but it isn't as iconic because it's not the first one, you know what I'm saying? So maybe that's why, but again, I loved it. I mean, it still had great effects. Um, I mean, it's not really that much of an effect-heavy uh, trilogy, as I can tell. I'm going to watch the third film tomorrow. Um, I should have the third review up for Saturday, I think, if all goes to plan. You'll see it very soon. Um, but it's not very an effect-heavy uh, film series, so I can't really say that it's really bad because there really isn't much in it. Um, the, the shark that jumps out at Marty in the beginning when he goes to the future, 2015, which frickin' sucks that we don't have any hoverboards, I mean, Steven Spielberg, man, Robert Zemeckis, you guys had a good, uh, good vision of the year 2015, too bad we're almost into 2019 and still on the road, but anyway, um, I just want a lightsaber or something, but anyway, um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the shark that jumps out at Marty looked bad and... There's one shot, I'm not going to be too picky here, but there's one shot where Biff, like, I think it's Biff, futuristic Biff, the guy who has, like, um, he had, like, the baseball bat behind him that was red, it kept going up in the in the scene where Marty was dealing with his uh, son, delinquent son, and he runs out and um, Marty, uh, his son gets on the hoverboard. There's one shot, it looks really bad, because you can tell they're, it's a CGI board for, like, that scene of them getting on. And then it's an actual board that they use with wires and all that. But one scene, you know, I'm not going to say, oh, that movie sucks, you know. It, it's fine. You know, I just had to mention it. There's one little little mistake. But, um, yeah, the effects were great. The the actors who came back were all amazing, too. Um, Marty and Doc do uh, a great job. Um, all the, his parents. Everyone did a great job. Biff, I mean, it was really cool because the plot... As I'm gonna mention right now, the plot is fantastic. It's it's really high stakes, probably more so than the first one because Biff. Basically, if you guys seen it, I'm I'm not really gonna spoil anything, but there's a sports almanac that um, Biff gets, and because of that, he's able to like tell all the years that the sports teams for various things are gonna win. So he makes a lot of money and becomes like a millionaire, and he marries um, young version of Marty's mom, and uh, it's just, it just goes. Friggin' nuts after that, but it's, it's a really good plot, and I really did enjoy it. Um, again, the stakes were a little bit higher, so I got a little bit more invested in this one with all the... Like, when they go to 2015, it's cool, because it's supposed to be the realistic depiction, but it, no way in hell it is. But the <laughs> the everything else just kind of falls in line when they go back to the 50s, and you see uh, parts from the first film being rewritten and reshaped because of what they're doing in this one. So it's a very... It's kind of like... Um, the first season of Ninjago, which um, I do have the first Ninjago season and uh, pilot up on YouTube, tribute, check it out, it's awesome. Um, if you guys seen Ninjago season one, there's a little bit, and a little bit of part two, where they go into the future and the past, and Master Wu says, uh, you know, change anything, change everything. Uh, so it's kind of like that, maybe it was inspired by that, so that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it was, it was just all the really good plot, and the, the actors were great, like I said. Um, everything just kind of fell apart, or felt, fell apart, <laughs> fell in line. Um, it, it really was a good film. I'm trying to think. There's not really anything that stood out to me as being negative. Uh, it's an old film, yeah. I mean, it's 89, so same year as Tim Burton Batman. But it still holds up today, just like the first one. And uh, at the very end of the, the second film, you get a little, I guess, like teaser trailer of part three, which, again, I'm going to be watching tomorrow night. So I should like that one. Uh, I heard that was pretty good, too. A little mixed, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, again, though, coming from me, my review of Back to the Future Part 2, I really enjoyed it. Uh, there's, there's I, I don't know. See, it's hard to come up with anything negative because I liked it all so much, and I don't want to just keep giving everything A-pluses, but that's how I feel, you know what I mean? So I'm not biased. I just, I just like it, you know? So 
I mean, I'm gonna have to give Back to the Future Part 2 an A+. I mean, yeah, there was that one little scene in the beginning, but that's so minimal, it doesn't really affect anything. And the plot was cool, the acting was great still, the effects that were there were, you know, kind of neat. Um, everything just kind of fell in line in the end, and it was just a, a really good plot, really suspenseful. So yeah, I really did enjoy it, guys, and again, I'm gonna give Back to the Future Part 2 an A+. Um, stay tuned for Part 3 soon, and then watch that tomorrow night, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Uh, but yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like and, um, and comment down below if you guys saw part two, if you enjoyed it, if you hated it, uh, if you were mixed, you know, what, what your view of that was. And uh, yeah, so subscribe for more content, and my next video review should be Back to the Future Part 3. So thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.